Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. We've just heard from younger Vlad that the body of Simon is most likely being held in this house, possibly taken by butchers. Let's go see if that's true and see if we can recover Simon's body. Also, I seriously need food. Ooh. Wow, I'm finding some really good stuff in these bins. Nice. Yeah, that's a really good haul. Couple needles, I think. A razor. Water bottle. Two more water bottles. Lots of medicine. Yeah, let's do it. Please give me as much medicine as possible. Thank you. Ah, Meridorm. Yeah, a bottle of medicine for one hazelnut? Sure. God, why does it seem like my health is still going down, even though I know a while ago I drank some Meridorm? I don't know. Ah, even more medicine. Perfect. Trading with children is so freaking important. I feel like you basically need to do it to survive, otherwise there's like no hope. And thank god there's so many little barterers around. Maybe start trading some of my water bottles too, because I have so many. Yeah, I've got 45. There's definitely no reason to hoard 45 water bottles. Almost there. Gonna have to be ready to fight, because there's a pretty good chance the butcher is gonna try to butcher me. Ooh, food. Let's go see if we can afford some food. And I want to see if I can get a better price for selling my weapon and medicine here than I did at Bad Grief's Lair. Hello, clone. Ah, oh, you've got actual food and not just a knife. Good. Yeah, this revolver is worth quite a bit more here than Bad Grief's Lair. It was worth like... It was under 2,000. I think it was around 1,600 or 1,300. And here it's worth 2,300. Uh, I think the Meridorm is worth more too, but I'm not quite sure. Hmm. You know, maybe I should use a bandage. I should probably use a bandage, given how hurt I am. I'm not entirely sure what it does, though. Does it heal you over time? Does it take down infection? I don't know. But I guess I'll try that in just a minute. How much is it for food? Whoa. 330, that's like nothing. 825. I think I need to buy this. Dried meat doesn't sound too nice. It says the risk of it being infected is negligible, but it is still the meat of a steppe animal. Hmm. Maybe I won't buy it. I don't know. 
Yeah, maybe I won't buy the dried meat, but I definitely want the smoked meat. So what do I sell to get it? I could do with parting... Uh, I could part with some medicine. I do have so much of it. I do have so much of it. Yeah, okay. Let's part with some medicine. That's fine. Still got ten bottles of it left. It's fine. Let's see what this does for my hunger. Yeah. Took it down a decent amount. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the bandage. See what it does. Oh. It looks like it maybe gives you instant health. So I guess it's not a heal over time. Did it take down my infection? No, it certainly didn't. Let's go ahead and increase my immunity even further. I want to, like, max it out, pretty much. At all times. go. Into the Ripper's Lair. Let's be careful. Cloud of... I don't know what the hell that stuff is that was chasing me before. Jesus Christ, it sounds like it's everywhere, but I don't see it. Earrings, could probably trade that. Barter with it. It's gotta be upstairs. Okay. Is there no one here? Set. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I'm gonna look at that later. <gasps> Fresh meat! Oh god, thank god, I need food. <gasps> Butcher. Okay, they're not attacking me yet. Mm. There's definitely a body in that bed. They're not attacking me. There's two. The body's freaking rotting. Uh. Oh, okay. Ooh. I didn't expect them to suddenly spring into action. Jesus. Am I okay? I think I'm okay. Is that Simon? What happened with my quest? Let's see. 
The body has been found. Is it Simon? Indeed, how would I know if it's Simon? I guess... Tell Reuben about it, perhaps? I guess I should tell Reuben about it. You know, if I tell Reuben about that body, and it, if it is Simon's body, does that mean I don't need to go to the infected region? Uh, I'm gonna go back to Reuben. I feel like I should tell him this now, before I go headfirst into the infected district. Because that is going to be a nasty, and I'm not looking forward to it. Let's also take a look at some of our stuff. Bandage set. Set of bandaging equipment, bandages, tourniquets, splints, and antiseptic. Very useful for recovery after a traumatic injury. Allows you to stop bleeding, disinfect wounds, support injured joints, and damaged tissue. Okay, so I don't think I need that right now. I mean, my health is pretty low, but I don't think I need something quite that extreme. Let's just use another normal bandage. There, half health. That's pretty good. Also, I should probably eat the fresh meat. Although I feel like I should cook it, but again, I don't know how to cook stuff, or if it's even possible. So, I'm actually doing pretty well now. Exhaustion's high, but other than that, I'm doing okay. Meridorm, my favorite. Oh wait, that costs two. I'm sorry, young one. I don't have the stuff you need. Yeah, I'm going to start, start training for bandages. Because I do have an obscene amount of water bottles. So if I see any Max Payne looking weirdos, I guess I'll... Uh, I guess I'll say hi to them. Let's go talk with Big Vlad. See if he has any antiseptic or something like that to give to me. Since supposedly the important people have gotten some medicines. Many a mickle makes a muckle. There's no hurry. I need a detailed report on the amount of pharmaceutical drugs we have. I'm happy to relieve your mind, Doctor. We are distributing protective and preventative medicines daily among the townsfolk. Even the antibiotics. We've selected the drug agents from the list you gave us yesterday. Are you satisfied? So I can be a bit of a dick about it, with this option. Interesting, I can also ask to have first access to the confiscated drugs. That is quite selfish, is it not? However, to be fair, as selfish as it is, as much as I am a doctor trying to help as many people as possible, do keep in mind that what I do is very important for saving other people's lives, and I think me being healthy is more important than the average person being healthy. I don't like to assign value to people's lives, but what I'm trying to do to help the townsfolk is so important that I think it is important that I have first access to the drugs, because I need to be healthy to try to help people and try to stop the plague, right? It's damn selfish, but... Do I want to go down that route of being selfish? Being selfish like that, supposedly for the good of the people? Because it's more important that I be healthy to help them? Or am I just simply being selfish? Without any sort of a better motive than that? Am I just trying to justify my selfishness? I don't know, actually. But let's roll with it. You were not there, and now I'm forced, by your hand if I might add, to report to Governor Superov. I had no time to hesitate, Bachelor. I'm sorry. The drugs have been confiscated and sealed up. <sighs> it's a result, too. 
Well, I'm glad you finally given me the credit I deserve. The Canes have also given out everything they had, though they had less than me. And it's easier to give out things when you're poor as a church mouse. You've given everything you had? And it was still too little. We've estimated that help will arrive in five days. According to the last census, there are about 10,000 people in the town. All in all, they've got dribs and drabs. There is a strategic reserve, but if it takes five more days, no one would be able to help us then. Who's in charge of the public trust? Katerina, the last mistress. But my daughter, and young Maria, as far as I know, are looking after her. All the works are, of course, performed by our people. All she needs to do is calculate the resources we have left. What led you to this peculiar situation? I respect Georgie and generally recognize the Zubarov's rights. But we don't trust each other. As for Katerina, she is still a mistress. She answers to the earth and keeps the whole town together like a single thread. If only my if only my wife was alive or my daughter was older. I see. Who could have thought? So an outbreak is upon us? Did he really just say who would have thought? Um I thought days ago when you wouldn't listen to me. Have you heard anything about the river? Yes, I've heard the rumors. Several bodies missing from the cemetery. Nevertheless, you must realize a single person couldn't have done it. There must be several people. One man just couldn't appear in several places at once over such a short night. But you'll have a chance to see that for yourself soon. Whom do you suspect, then? The butchers, of course. It's a no-brainer. Even the sickest bastard wouldn't commit a blasphemy like this. Some people are shameless enough to use a knife, but no one, except for butchers, would steal bodies. It's dangerous and pointless to boot. Fine. I believe you. Yes? You're in charge of the hospital now, aren't you? We're already busy starting it. Do you want to know more? Is that the only reason why you came? Yes, please tell me what measures you have taken. Do you think we ought to report to you, my dear doctor? Although there's nothing to hide, our town has no suitable buildings. Someone suggested we found a hospital in an abandoned house, but the conditions... What about the conditions? It's turned out to be very tricky to provide the patients with water. You may not have been told about it. But the water supply has been blocked and partially destroyed. Rumor has it that the water intake and even river are already contaminated. Barrels are the only source of drinking water right now. Huh. I wonder if the value of my water is going to increase then. Maybe I should hold on to it. Where are the patients taken to? To the cemetery, dear doctor. The mortality rate is absolute. You're supposed to know that better than anyone, including me. The dying need only water and morphine. Sometimes vodka, too. They can depart to the better world painlessly, then. Ah, so maybe there I can help them pass on with my morphine. And water, too. can make some pretty big decisions here. Check all warehouses and all stores where any drugs or medicine can possibly be found and confis confiscate everything you find. That sounds... Well, I mean, I'm sure the shops won't like it, but given the emergency situation, that sounds like the right thing to do, no? Let's do it. Be so kind as to do the following. Check all warehouses and all stores where any drugs or medicine can possibly be found. Confiscate everything you find. I'll check what we have in stock and choose appropriate cures. It's not a trivial task, Doctor.
If it was easy, I would have done it myself. This girl is dangerous. Is that actually going to have an effect? I mean, I choose an option like that and then the conversation just ends. So I feel like it's not going to matter. But I told him to do something very serious. Is he actually going to do it? If he actually does do it, then it's going to make a huge difference. And I believe we just received a letter. Yes, we did. Epidemic, written on your recommendation, sent for approval. Ah, so this is the message to the townspeople. Attention all citizens. Following the outbreak of a lethal disease commonly known as Sand Plague, Sand Pest, and Sand Dirt, the town authority hereby declares a state of emergency. The disease is extremely contagious. There is still ongoing research as to how the disease is transmitted, but cases of contact and droplet infection have been confirmed. There are currently no vaccine solutions in the town, and none are to be expected before the regular train arrives. Please be extra careful. The townspeople are forbidden to leave their homes unless under special instruction. Remember, the possibility of infection is much lower for those who stay indoors. This is, the citizens are advised to sterilize their household wares, boil their clothing, and exterminate as many vermin as possible. Do not panic. Medics, couriers, and executors will take care of mail delivery, as well as the distribution of drinking water, provisions, and medicine. Requests should be written down and slid under the door for couriers to collect. This address was composed on the instructions of Bachelor Dankovsky and ratified by the State of Emergency Town Governor Alexander Superov. It is compulsory to follow every advice herein. Well, I approve. Sounds good. Would you like to trade? <gasps> Lots of medicine, yes. I can get one of these pills. Okay, uh, where to now? Ah, right, I was going to Reuben. What time is it? 4 p.m. Hmm. It's getting a little bit late. Yeah, there's so much to do in the day. It's amazing how much I'm kept busy. I'm also gonna need to sleep soon. I think before... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to sleep before actual, like, nighttime. Is that another letter? Yeah, confidential notation, written on your recommendation, sent for approval. The annotations for patrolmen, couriers, executors, and sanitary personnel. In order to prevent panic, this annotation is classified and its contents should be under no circumstances disclosed to the civilian population. The disease is incurable. There is no vaccine, neither here nor in the capital. However, there are a few positive facts. The probability of contracting the disease is significantly lower for someone who has taken immune system stimulants. As of now, we believe that A pills and B pills, yellow and blue colored pills respectively, provide the best protective effect. Excessive doses of these medicines may be detrimental to one's health. Additional protection is afforded by synthetic clothing. Woolen garments are strictly off limits, parasites. The clothing should be changed as often as possible. Important. The disease develops sporadically. At its initial stage, it does not progress in any significant way, especially if antibiotics are taken. However, if contact with the infection reoccurs, the development of the disease becomes extremely rapid. Hmm. Well, it's only happened once to me, and it is indeed slow, so I guess if it happens again, it's going to become faster. The disease is not transmitted by means of droplet infection. As of now, we've yet to find out how it is contracted. Preliminary tests suggest that the disease is not contagious at early stages. 
Therefore, there is no need to isolate the sick person immediately after the appearance of the symptoms. Hmm. Executors, in consideration of your particular line of work, we believe that you will not be able to avo avoid infection. If you have contracted the disease, do not give in to despair. It would have happened sooner or later anyway. Try your best to conserve the infection at its initial stage. Take antibiotic medicine. Consider using the... Schmouders. They're extremely dangerous, but they help curb the infection. <laughs> what the hell are the Schmouders? Wasn't that mentioned by a kid once? About the... Powders being raided or something like that? Schmouders, powders, something. I don't know. So the executors, I guess, go around and, what, kill people? Take people out who are... have advanced to advanced stages of the infection? Yeah, I guess you really couldn't help but become infected with that line of work, right? What a sad job. Alright, Reuben, I found what might be Simon's body. I haven't slept for three nights straight. I don't think I'll make... Uh... Doesn't seem to be an option for it. Uh, perhaps we should switch places. Would you be able to apply herbal tinctures to the specimen, to prepare the reagents, to adjust their potency? Working with herbs requires knowledge and experience, and we have nothing but herbs to work with. Besides, the canes hold me personally responsible for my precious patient. Very well. How many samples do you need? I will keep working until we are able to isolate the microbe. I don't understand why we can't see the culture yet. There are traces of plenty, but not the bacteria itself. Shall we perhaps invite an infected person right here? Out of the question. Without anything to protect ourselves, we will surely die. In fact, developing these means of protection is precisely the purpose of our unpleasant and criminal work. You're right. There must be some other option. I'd rather not go look. I really can't tell him that I possibly found. I. I can't tell him that I possibly found Simon's body. I'm so confused. Don't I need to tell somebody about that? About what I found? Should I take the information back to the canes? I mean, I thought I was supposed to tell Reuben first, because if the Canes know where Simon's body is, they're going to take it, and Reuben won't be able to... to properly dissect the body, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, it just says the body has been found. Is it Simon? I, I don't get it. Should I take it to the Canes, or should I just... continue on and ignore it? Huh. Do I need permission from the super offs to... No, that's for the main quest. That's to get tissue samples from the infected district. That shouldn't have anything to do with Simon. I don't get it. But uh, I guess I'm going to go ask the super offs for permission. Go back on the main quest and see if something happens with Simon's body after that. Very strange. Yeah, didn't Reuben want first dibs at the body before the Canes knew about it? I thought that was our little agreement. He was going to look at the organs see if they were any different than a normal human being. Because Simon was exceptional. Because of his vitality. Because of how long he lived. If I talk to you? Ah, nothing to say. Just keep uh, making sure my revolver's loaded. I've got a lot of shots for it, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I've got ten shots. Six loaded in, four extra. Wow. Freaking bush stopper. Blocking up the road. 
Rude. I'm supposed to have protective clothing before I go into infected places, but there's no way I can afford it. Let's see what you have for sale. Wouldn't mind some more food. Hunk of smoked meat. I would not mind that at all. What do I sell, though? I don't really want to sell more medicine. Earrings, that's not worth very much. Probably as a barter item is worth more. really want to sell any of the things I have, to be honest. I really don't. I guess I could part with some more medicine. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have eight left after that. That's plenty. That's fine. Oh my god, my hunger's actually low. How often does that happen? I don't think my hunger's been low for, like, since the beginning of the game, really. beginning of the plague district, I see. The infected areas are strictly off-limits keep out. Excuse me. I've been granted emergency powers. You must have been informed by the governor. I'm Bachelor Denkovsky. Yes, sir. We were, sir. I apologize. Better safe than sorry. Come through. But keep in mind, sir, they're all crazed, mad, and insane in there. Possessed. If they attack you, go ahead and run anywhere. But do not kill them. We'll have to intervene and beat you within the inch of your life, for they are innocent and in pain. So they're going to attack me and let you go unimpeded. How in the world does that work? Well, you as Doc, we patrol people have nothing to offer them but a good old blow on the head. And we won't let them out. They've tried to escape. There's no denying that. They did. We taught them a lesson, though. And we're protected, too, thanks to you. Protected? Yes, sir. They've distributed them pills among us. Told, told us twas on your orders. Told us they're very much a good remedy to invigorate the body, but bad for the heart. Also, they make it so that your blood doesn't curdle no more, but rather fills them veins, making them bursty and thus shabby. Am I saying it right? Ew, what? You seem to be describing cardiovascular diseases, in which case you are correct, sir. Bursty veins or something? I don't, I don't even want to think about that, that's gross. Uh, I hope my infection doesn't start going up just by being in an infected region. Uh, my immunity is really good, though. Sucks to be the super ops living right on the edge of the infected region. Is there really no way to cure the disease? We are doing worse than ever. The infection is spreading. Well, there's a lot of things to say. Uh, well, let's start with the original thing we came here for. I need to work with dead bodies. I was told that this work demands your sanction. Is that true? I regret to say that no one can help you here. Local superstition prohibits any violation of a body's integrity. Add a cult of the dead on top. If they see you dissecting a corpse, they might tear you to pieces. It has already happened once. How is such a bizarre tradition born? I am not the best expert on the kin, 
Ask the residents of the Earth District. I'm sure they can tell you more. Although they're not particularly talkative. Ask Big Vlad. He has promised to assist you in every way. The cunning hypocrite. Very well. But I don't need dead tissues for my own entertainment. I need them in order to fight the disease. I understand, but there's nothing I can do. Let us pretend this conversation never happened. You might want to turn to your new acquaintances. As far as I can judge, they're ready to do anything you ask. So does that mean I should try to ask somebody to do it for me? Hmm. I'll do that then. I should hope the infected districts have already reconsidered this reactionary prejudiced stance. This difficulty could be resolved by some rather sinister people. I am talking about butchers. Butchers, rather, obviously have no qualms about cutting bodies. Tradition gives them a hereditary right to perform this sacred act. I've had the pleasure of meeting one of them, and he was a fugitive criminal. Of course, Ogimsky had them locked up after another of their strikes. However, it is said that on the eve of a blockade, a group of butchers did not make it back to the termitary on time. Someone is hiding them. There is a house here on Earth whose dwellers know who it is. Take a chance. Thank you. Excellent advice. Okay. So maybe more butchers have shown up there? Other than the one that disappeared when I went there before? Let's see what else there is I to talk about. I will restore the order here, rest assured. The infection is spreading. What makes you say that? Well, it's pretty obvious, but let's say that anyway. The disease is spreading quickly. The neighboring district is almost entirely steeped in infection by now. And even though the powers that be have informed me that help is on the way, I doubt that they're aware of the rate of spread. But let's not lose hope. What are you working on now? I intend to start studying the pathologic culture now. Which is why I'd like to ask for your help. What kind of help can I offer you? I need equipment. I found out by chance that Isidore's laboratory was ransacked during the recent riots. I'd be grateful if you found the perpetrators and confiscated what they had looted. Yes, I've heard that. They're already being investigated. However, I would not call Barak's dwelling a laboratory. It was more of a workshop. There weren't many valuables there. Still, I will let you know when the stolen items are recovered. Thank you. God, I hope that investigation doesn't take too long. Aspects and his kind band together. That's a good enough reason. Your wife says the strangest things. Do you think so? And have you met Clara yet, Bachelor? This sounds kind of rude, but let's go with it. Yes, just had the pleasure. Isn't the girl a bit of a megalomaniac? Clara really does possess unusual abilities. It's true that she can inspire love and trust at first sight. It is also true that her touch is imbued with a remarkable energy, a healing power. However, the nature of that power remains a mystery to me. What's your own opinion of her? I've long been paying special attention to that girl, but I repeat, I still know nothing about her despite having talked to her throughout the last few days, and I cannot explain the facts that I've witnessed. It would be interesting to hear your opinion. It's curious. Somehow I knew you would want me to run into her at some point. I just wanted to find out how well you know her. Do I actually know her? Is... I'm not actually sure if we're talking about the person that I think we're talking about. I've heard some rumors, and I know by now what local gossip is worth. Not to be ignored, 
but not to be taken literally either if one cares about one's sanity. What? Just our bloody luck. That's... Is there... Yeah, okay. So no more dialogue. Who is Clara? I don't actually remember who Clara is. Is that... Hmm... No, I just don't know. I just don't know. Alright, let's go to the runaway house of the butchers. Oh god. Does that mean I just became more infected? One second. Alright, let's continue on to the house. See if we can have uh, the person there. I forgot her name, but uh, hopefully she can speak to the butchers for us, because the last time I tried to do that, they tried to punch me in the face. Wasn't very pleasant. Straight. No, straight's not a good idea. Let's hang a left here and then go here. Why would we go straight? I don't want to be some sort of a straight. Boring. Whoops. I didn't even mean to... Click that. Uh, we all know about you. Did you want to ask me something? Have you tested our schmouters? I would actually like to test your schmouters. Shm what? I remember us playing schmouters. We used to invent various recipes, taking various amounts of various medicines and mixing them. It was like a competition. Whose recipe would turn out to be the most efficient? And well, some of them were. Any chance I could get my hands on them? Our boys shuffled through several old caches. Hopefully I haven't slipped my... I don't know what that word is. Bew? Bews? Be I don't know. Uh, he'll bring me one just in case. And where does one find these old caches? At the Dovecot, or the Mild Dew, or Mild Dew? Why do you ask? It's not like there's anything left there, except maybe several dead schmouters. The ones that kill instantly. Show me anyway. What's deadly to a five-year-old can become the salvation of an adult. D Were you going to show me? What? Did you mark something on my map? Because I really don't think you did. No, you didn't. What the hell? Uh, whoops. That's not the dialogue I wanted to go through. Doof? Yeah, Dovecot or Mildew. I don't know where those places are, but I'll write them down, I guess. Dovecot, Mildew. Yeah, I keep going this way, take a right. Yeah, the earrings are worth three. Nice. Definitely much better as a barter item than a store item. Okay, well, sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I actually have to go, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. Sorry for the cliffhanger, and when I return, 
I'm going to talk to the woman inside of here and see if I can get the butchers to help me.